My name is George Souza. I'm a PhD student and I work in evolutionary biology lab. My name is Anna, I'm coming from Serbia and I work in laboratory for epigenetic mechanisms. My name is Romulo Areal and I work in immunology. My name is Sandra Tavares and I work on cancer biology. The IGC is a basic research institute where people learn how to do individual research, how to be creative in science. And we apply that idea to everybody from the junior students in the institute to the people who are running the laboratories. I think that our PhD program is, it begins extremely well. So the PhD program in IGC, it's really diverse. We had, in the beginning, we have different classes of many different things, protein interactions and cell biology, immunology and evolution. So the first year of the program is, is, is quite important for all of us, but I, I feel somehow that it was more important for me because my background is not biology. I'm an informatics engineering student. It's very important to see how science works and how and these classes really can broaden your horizons. Plus you get to meet all these fantastic people. Like you read about them and you learn about them in university and then all of a sudden they're standing in front of you and giving you lectures. So I think that's really fascinating. It's just meeting a rock star, right? You get really excited. <laughs> the biggest advantage of having seminars with people from different parts of the world is that they come here and they have time to teachers and classes, they have time to give seminars. And uh, IGC gives us the opportunity of the PhD students to have lunch with these people, is to talk about science and the things behind science and how do you do science in your place and to get connected with these people and that are from different parts of the world. They're really very, very broad scientists by the time they are let out into the PhD environment. That's a tremendous thing. They're, they're by far the most educated students that I've ever met. We take about uh, 10 to 15 students every year without any sort of restriction regarding their uh, background. So what we look for is to see what drives these people to, tr to, to want to pursue a career in science, to want to join the IGC, what kinds of questions they are interested in, how good they are at actually uh, uh, phrasing their, these questions and how uh, good they are at solving problems or posing questions. It's relatively easy to go into a lab and be told that you're going to pick up that test tube in one hand and that test tube in the other hand and mix the two things together. You can call that science and you can call that getting a PhD, but we don't do that here and and uh, students have to have to raise their own games to match what the institute is offering to them. Something that we really push for is that the students have from the very beginning a very strong handle on the intellectual property, if you will, of their projects. The students are typically not given a defined project. They actually have a six week period in the end of this uh, initial training to uh, come uh, up with an original idea and design to as much as possible their own project. And that's why we have classes before we decide the PI, so we can know the PIs, know the work, know the topic, the models. We know a lot of stuff before we choose. The Institute hosts groups at very, very dis distinct areas of, of uh, biological sciences research, uh, from, again, theoretical biology and computer sciences, all the way to cell biology, development, evolution, immunology, neuroscience, and so forth. Mentorship at the IGC uh, occurs in two ways. First, we have our supervisor, which tries to follow us along, but then we have the thesis committee members, which are two independent PIs, they are not related with our group, and once a year we go to them and we talk to them about our results, our problems, our doubts, our fears sometimes. And it's really good because they have a different perspective on the work, and uh, the input that I get from my PI and from my thesis committee is completely different and usually they are opposed and then I, I get to be in between to get this different perspective and think more about my project. We are so intertwined here, even our labs are disposing in, in, displayed in a way that 
make us interact in, in good ways. So we have a problem, we co can go ask the other wing or the other room. There is this open air system and people do talk to each other. So it's not only PhD students with PhD students, it's just PhD students with PIs, with directors. So uh, there are no boundaries between us. I always feel that whole IGC is doing my PhD, not only me. So I would really encourage people to apply. For sure, I would apply to the IDC again. I think I had a wonderful experience in the program here with the people, with the PIs, with the different scientists that came here and uh, the disciplines that we studied during the course itself. I think it was a wonderful experience. I would take it all again, for sure. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm having a blast, so definitely. I would, I would apply again to the IDC program. I have no doubt in my mind. I've, I've been having the best years of my life here, so no doubt there. <laughs>